Here I am, Sharon Alexander, world Guinness record holder as the heaviest sportswoman in the world, amateur sumo wrestler, gonna take on George. And this is our mawashi, which we are going to tie up George with. Well, not really. We're just going to wrap him up. This is a traditional mawashi that is used by the Japanese wrestlers. Obviously, they usually don't wear any underwear. <laughs> Back in 2006, there was a nationwide um, search for women who wanted to be part of the first team of women to go out to Japan. And I, like 50 other women, decided that we'd like to audition and all converged on Derby. And it, that's it really from there. Started training over the weeks from about three months. We trained, we had competitions, so the 50 dwindled down to the last six. And then the last six, which I was very fortunate to be part of, went out to Japan to Osaka in 2006 to compete in the World Games. If your belt even drops down, you lose. That's why it's important for it to be tight tight. Right, if any part of that belt touches the floor because it's yours, you awesome. lose. You could be gold medal winning, you lose. Okay? okay? I was very fortunate in 2013 to be awarded the Guinness World Record as the heaviest sportswoman in the world. That at 203 kilos. Um, very overwhelming because just growing up you think Guinness World Records, you think oh, there's nothing I could ever do so it was something that I'm, I'm very proud of and I don't see it as being fat, it is what it is. For me even at 52 I still don't think, you don't, I don't have to stop but I've kind of slowed down. How do you win a fight? Whole thing is you got to remember um, the belt is yours. Uh, generally, you know, the men do the sumo just the belt, they have nothing else on. The women are wearing leotards. So you're in the ring and uh, you need to get your opponents, any other part of the opponent's body, to touch the floor and even the end of the belt, or you get your opponent outside of the dojo. And that's a win.